Tech TV, Experience Educational Television. The Department of Optometry and Visual Science of Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology has a unique way of teaching and mentoring students to achieve excellence in personal and academic life. On Thursday, the 21st of November 2019, the department invited a renowned professor from the United States of America to speak and interact with students on emotional intelligence. So if I had a board, I'll tell you, when I communicate, am I communicating an emotion or am I communicating a thought? Especially if the emotion is high. Right? If you mix it, does anybody listen to you? They'll blush, blow you up like, yeah, yeah, I'll run your mouth. They won't listen and you're really angry here now because they didn't listen to what you're upset about. So you have to walk away sometimes, let the emotion, his uh, 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 American Humanist Association invited me to do this. And then this was my argument, this was my whole thesis, right? We, I am not who I am because of, you know, I think therefore I am. Uh-uh. I feel, therefore I am. We have come this far as a species because we have a lot of feelings. Students had the opportunity to ask questions and respective answers were given. I'm asking if that uh, makes us pretend to be um, people we are not. And then, um, if it does, does it have an effect on our EQ, that is our emotional quotient? And then, um, what's the a relation between morality quotient and then what, uh, emotional quotient? So, the relationship between society's expectation and us. So, there is a place of authenticity. If you are a nudist, people like to walk around naked. It's difficult to live in society, right? However, think of it this way, if you go to a swimming pool, can I go in a tuxedo? It won't work. If I go on a date and I show too much skin, that won't work either. If I really like her, I better put on a tie. If I go to a funeral in my t-shirt, jeans, won't work. If I go to a wedding with, with slippers and just shorts, it won't work. Tech TV News spoke to the speaker. So today we talked about my three Bs, that's that every one of us is beautiful, every one of us is brilliant, and every one of us belong, belong to the earth. And uh, that's the three Bs, and then I talked about forgiveness, gratitude, and hope. That forgiveness is we're all doing the best we know how at all times, given the resources available to us. Uh, to be thankful at all times, and never give up hope. Um, how to frame these six concepts in a work setting, in a, in a in work setting, in a professional setting, how do we still do those things and, and figure these pieces out for our life. And sometimes people are call it it's motivational speaking, it's more than that. It's actually little tools to use to, to in, in classroom, in, in different um, different professional settings, not just private counseling settings, but in professional settings, how to use and separate our emotions from our thinking. There are two separate entities, and when we can separate, people listen to us better. So that's the idea behind it, how to take it apart so we can communicate what we are thinking. And that's what we did, two hours of it today. Students spoke to Tech TV News after the program. The one thing that I took with me was the less, lesson on the three Bs. Because I have a, and quite a number of friends who are going through some issues and I didn't really know how to approach them or handle the issues, but now I know how to handle it. I know that I'm not supposed to offer advice in certain situations and that's one thing I'm taking with me. So I also learned that um, it's not every time that we need, we need to focus on our IQ. We need to focus on other quotients. That is the um, body quotients and the morality quotient and also apply it in our uh, human life. Yeah. I know what I'm doing will end up in a good way, yes. So I'll go on, on, I'll go on with that. But something I know, it won't be beneficial to me. I'll put a stop to that, yes. And that one too could be the friends you mingle yourself with. It could be peer pressure and, and in all aspects too. Yeah. 